Faber Piano Adventures, level 2B, page 15. The song is called Boxcar Rumble. In this song, we're going to be playing the interval of the 6 and the 7, excuse me, the 6 and the 5, in the left hand, we'll be playing 6s in the right hand. We're also going to be playing some staccato notes. We have some ties in there, crescendos getting louder. We have decrescendos getting softer. Retardandos getting slower, fermatas holding the notes longer, and an 8VA below a note, which means go an octave lower. So we have all kinds of stuff that we're covering in this song. Let's figure out where the left hand is going to begin first. You should be using your codes to figure these notes out. Don't forget that every good boy is fine facing the space in the right hand. Great big dogs fight animals, all cows eat grass in the left. Maybe you've learned a different set and you can use those too. So here's middle C, two black keys, middle C. We're actually going down to bass C and then going down three notes onto G. This is the low G. And that's the position your left hand will be in. G, A, B, C, D. We're going to be playing a fifth to a sixth in the left hand like that. In the right hand, we're going to be playing not middle C, but up here to treble C and down one to B, and reaching up with our fifth finger up to G. Another six interval. Okay? So let's do the left hand first. I want you to see that we're playing the staccato and we're keeping a steady tempo. We're also going to be doing some crescendos, decrescendos, and retardandos. Let's listen closely. As you notice at the end, I move down an octave because below the last note it says 8VA. And when those are placed below notes, we move down an octave instead of up an octave. So we were on G, I moved down to this G and played it. There's a fermata over it, which means we can hold it longer than two beats if we want. Now let's do the right hand. We're going to be playing the sixth interval, starting with B and G. Remember here on this part we're playing eighth notes. So if you want to, it's going to help if you count with and. Because eighth notes are a half a beat, right? So we could count one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. It makes it easier to play eighth notes if you use the and. So let's start from the beginning again and listen as I count and. One and two and three and four and 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 Okay, lots of counting there. It's good to get your tempos right. Now I'm going to go over there and play them both together. Let's listen to them. Let's find our positions again. Middle C. Remember we're moving up to treble C, putting our thumb on B, pinky over to G here. And that'll be our first interval. Our left hand will be on bass C, down 3 to G. Put your pinky there. And your thumb will be on D. Okay, here we go, playing boxcar rumble. Now you can kind of play the ending how you want. There's pedal at the end, so make sure you hold it. The last two measures have pedal. It says retardando. You can start your retardando where you like. Um, you could start it maybe here on the G. You could start it on the D. Or maybe go. Maybe slow down more at the end. Don't forget, your fermatas, you get to hold those notes as long as you want. And remember on the second bar, second measure, there's a tied interval there. Don't play that one twice. Be careful. Otherwise, this concludes Boxcar Rumble. Good luck.